Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing the video that I promised you a couple videos back and we are gonna be talking about how you can achieve that bronzy, tan, just back from vacation glow without having to step foot out of your house. So if you are interested in seeing my favorite bronzing, tanning products for your face and your body, then just keep on watching. The first product is by Tanceuticals, and last summer I was introduced to this brand, and I actually have a full review on most of their line of products, which I will link down below. But basically, this self-tanning face lotion, I apply it at night. I applied it last night, and within 12 hours, this has developed, and I have the shade Dark. It comes also in light, if you are a super fair skin tone, I would recommend doing the light. The reason being is one application of this and it is the equivalent of what my skin is here. So if you're not quite sure you want your face to be that dark, I would recommend going with the light shade. But this is wonderful. I have not experienced any skin irritation and I have super sensitive skin. And again, I only have to apply it once at night and it will last, the color will last on my face for a good three to four days. And I do recommend exfoliating really well before you apply this, but again, a great self tanner. The second product is not quite as intense of a color. So if you're not sure you want a full on tan on your face, I would recommend checking out Ulta's Glow Drops. And this is actually, it's called Bronze Glow Self Tanning Glow by Morning Gradual Tan Drops. So if you have ever seen people talk about the Clarins Glow Drops, they have a very similar product. And I tried that one and it was so subtle. It took several days before I started seeing any color develop and then I would be exfoliating my face and the color would be gone. So I felt like that was just a waste of money for me personally. But then I tried these last summer and I was super impressed. It's the same concept. You add a couple of drops. I usually add three drops of this to whatever your nightly moisturizer is. You don't apply it directly to your face. You just add it in with your moisturizer. And within two applications of this, I have a nice kind of medium tan glow to my face. It's not quite as intense as the, the Tanceuticals, but it still gives your face just a subtle bit of color and it does last for a couple of days. For these next products, I specifically focused on my favorite products for bronzing. I have a separate video I'm going to do all about contouring and highlighting, but for bronzer on your face, you want to think about what happens when the sun hits your face and when you get that natural color from the sun. It hits here on the tops of your cheeks, your nose, right around your eyebrows here, maybe a little bit on your chin. So those are areas that you're not gonna want to typically use a contour powder. So um, you can use a matte powder for bronzing and I have several favorites for that. But for purposes of this video, I was thinking vacation glow. So I'm gonna give you my favorite bronzing products for the face that have a little bit of glow and shimmer. So the first one, is from the Sugar Peach palette. And you guys have seen me use this several times recently. And it is specifically this shade right here. It is the most beautiful, shimmery, uh, bronzy with just a hint, a little bit of peachy shade. So it's not going to be like a streak of tan across the top of your cheeks, but it is going to add just a beautiful amount of color and shimmer. And I have this along with a few other products on my cheeks today. And I just love the glow and just that little subtle bit of bronze that that adds to the face. The next product is one that I will sweep almost all over my face. And I can use it also for contouring if I need to because the glow is not super shimmery and that is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I have two shades. This is my summer shade. This is deep bronze. And now I believe they have five or six different shades in this. So deep bronze is 
like I said, my summer shade. So when I have a little more color, I will put this on a big fluffy brush and brush this around the tops of my cheeks, my forehead. And if I feel like my neck needs a little extra color, I will take this particular bronzer down my neck and it just helps everything blend evenly. If you are not quite as tan as I am, the bronzer shade, not the light, but the bronzer shade, this is what I use in the winter time. And you can see those two swatched side by side. So this is the lighter bronze. It also just gives the face a very subtle glow. It's very forgiving and you don't have to worry too much about going overboard. The last shimmery bronze product for the face is one that's relatively new to me. Now I have this product in a different shade, but I recently picked up the Cover FX Custom Enhancing Drops in the shade Candlelight. Now this, these are pretty dark and I have tried this um, product mixed in with my foundation and it just takes the tiniest little amount to add a bronze glow, but you can see there, this one's pretty dark, but it has a little bit of some rosiness to it. So I didn't want anything overly orange, and this is perfect. Now this, I, instead of mixing in with my foundation today, I used it underneath my other bronzers today, and it is such a beautiful product. And again, a tiny little bit goes a long way. This bottle is going to last me forever. One thing about this product is once it dries, it does not budge. So if you're concerned about shimmery products kind of starting to get oily or break down or slip and slide on your skin, check out the Cover FX ones because those do not move and slide around once they set. This next category, I have a couple of products, but only two brands that have become my all-time favorite. So the first one, starting off at the drugstore, is from Jurgens, and it's the Instant Sun, and I have the shade Deep Bronze. If you don't want quite as much color, they do have a light bronze as well, but this is fabulous. I feel like it lasts pretty well on the skin. I would say I have a good four days of full color, the fifth day is pretty good, sixth day is starting to kind of fade pretty well, and then by seven days, I need to reapply it. I do apply it twice in one day. I have a whole video detailing exactly how I do that and how I get my deepest bronze within 24 hours, but this is just a great product. It's not a green toned, uh, bronze, but it's also not orange. So I think they did a great job. It does have a guide color when you apply it. So it does make it a little more goof proof. So again, check out the video that I have a full review and exactly how I use that product. I'll list that down below. The next brand is Tanceuticals, and this I have several products from in this category and the next. So for self tanning, I have now um, expanded my trial from last summer. I have now tried all of their sunless tanning products that they have. So in that video, I had used the self tanning lotion dark and I have since then tried the ultra dark and then a couple of their foam products. So for as far as lotion goes, the lotion actually is my favorite of the other products that they offer. And ironically, I feel like the dark is my favorite. It fades a lot better than the ultra dark does. Now, if I do not have time to apply this twice within 24 hours, the ultra dark one application will get me this dark. But this tan that you're seeing right now is from the Tanceuticals lotion in the dark shade. And I applied this twice yesterday. And this is the only sunless tanner that I've ever tried that smells absolutely delicious. It smells like coconut. So check out my video. I'll go into, I go into a lot more details there, but all of their products have this wonderful scent. It's not an awful sunless tanner scent at all. Now the last product from Tanceuticals is actually one that was kind of a dud for me. 
And that is their most recent release, which is the Self Tanning Body Mousse in Express. So the idea with this was the concept that I was so behind. And what it is, is that within one hour after application, you can rinse it off and then go about your day. And within six to eight hours, your tan is supposed to start to develop. So I was excited because Sometimes I don't want to wait six to eight hours to rinse off my sunless tanner. Um, now this product, I actually do not feel uncomfortable leaving it on all day. This soaks in well and it doesn't leave your skin tacky. This one takes a little longer to soak in, but again, I can go about my day with this on and not be uncomfortable. This Express, Oh my goodness, you want to wash it off right away. <laughs> In fact, it says if you want the full range of color, you need to wait four hours before washing it off. And I could not wait to get this off. Not only did this remain super tacky on the skin, but the color was such that I did not want to go out of my house with this on. It's this crazy rosy brown shade and I don't know if you can even tell there, I don't wanna put this on my skin, but you can kinda of see. And when it blends into the skin, maybe it's just because I have more yellow undertones to my skin, but it looks pink on your skin. And that was just not something I wanted to even go out of the house with. Now, had it really developed really dark color, I would have said it was totally worth it, but I didn't feel like I got much color at all the next, even by the next day. So this just was not a win for me, but these other products within the Tanceuticals line, I highly, highly recommend. Now the other dud in this category for me is by Jurgens. So it's kind of funny that the same brand that has my favorite also has my least favorite. Now, Jurgens makes a lot of sunless tanning products and the my least favorite in this line is the Wet Skin Sunless Tanner. The apply right after you've gotten done with your shower and you're supposed to be able to towel dry off and your sunless tan is going to develop. I don't have it in front of me because I took it back to the store it is just the most uncomfortable experience. You're standing there after you have showered, you turn the water off, you apply this lotion onto your wet skin while you're standing there starting to shiver. And then it says, then you towel dry off like normal and the sunless tanner's not going to get on your towel. Well, I have to say after about three days, um, that towel because I don't change out my bath towel every day. There you go. There's some personal information, <laughs> but that towel had lotion feel on it. You know that feeling? And I didn't feel like I got hardly any color even after three days. It was just that real subtle hint of color, but it didn't smell good. It was just not a win in my book. So I would highly recommend the Instant Sun from Jurgens or the Self Tanning Body Lotion from Tanceuticals, but the other products that I mentioned, those not so much. Now, before jumping into the final category, I stuck this category in here because I think there are a couple of products that can make or break your sunless tanning experience. The first of them being that it's very important to exfoliate your skin super well before applying sunless tanner. So my favorite exfoliator for the body is by Tanceuticals. They did a great job with this. And again, if you watch my other video, you know, but the grit in this does not dissolve like your typical sugar scrubs do. I do have another favorite sugar scrub, from Soap and Glory, that one is awesome, but I actually have found that this one does a better job. So exfoliating the skin, super important. The next step is one that I have gone back and forth through the years of doing and not doing, and I recently went back to it, and I really feel like it makes a difference. It, that is putting on a super light moisturizer right before you put on your first layer of sunless tanner. 
I know they all say put it on clean bare skin, but even with the tanceuticals, I have found that my tan just looks better and seems to develop a little bit quicker and more evenly if I put a light layer of moisturizer on. Now it needs to be super light and my new favorite, this is limited edition, so if you have Bath & Body Works anywhere near you, go get this. I bought a backup. This is the Coconut Milk Moisture Mist. And not only does this smell like a pina colada, um, but it is the lightest weight moisturizer that you can find. I used to love one by St. Ives. It was a spray moisturizer and they discontinued it. The Vaseline one I used did not like. So this is my top pick. If you can find this or find another very lightweight spray moisturizer, that is what I recommend putting on right before you apply your first layer of sunless tanner. The next I already alluded to, but it is using a tanning mitt. When I did my tanning video last summer, one of my subscribers said, you know, I always thought this was a gimmick just to get you to buy something else. And I thought that too for the longest time, but trust me, this is your friend. It really helps get your sunless tanner on super evenly. And these are thin, they're not like a makeup brush that is going to absorb tons of the product and leave you with hardly any to work into your skin. These really do work well. The thing you want to remember is you do need to rinse, wash them out with kind of lukewarm water and a little bit of soap in between each sunless tanning session. The next tool that I have found invaluable when trying to smooth your faux tan onto your hands and your feet is a simple makeup brush. This is from e.l.f. and this is the foundation buffing brush. A while ago, I probably two years ago, I saw somebody on YouTube mention that she used this to work the sunless tanner into her fingers, the knuckles in between, and it was life changing. So if you have struggled to get an even sunless tanning application on your hands, give a foundation brush a try. It's super easy and these are inexpensive. I think this was $6 and it has held up super well. The last product is something that I thought was another gimmick and I didn't think would be necessary, but I did have this question last summer and it made me ponder and I started doing some research and lo and behold, Tanceuticals had a product like this. And that is how do you apply sunless tanner to your back? Now for me personally, it's very rare that I'm wearing tops or dresses that have even half of my back exposed. However, when I was playing for concerts last year, I ran into this problem because my dress had a V in the back. It wasn't super deep, but it still showed this big open white section where I missed with sunless tanner. So I thought, oh dear, I need to fix this. So I found this body buddy from Tanceuticals and it looks pretty basic. I am sure if you are a crafter, you could totally replicate this. But what it is, is it is a long strip of, this is almost like tablecloth material. It You can wipe it off. It does not absorb any product whatsoever, which is genius. It has these two handles that are slightly stretchy. And the idea is you apply your sunless tanner or a lotion if you're somebody who gets dryness on your back and you have a hard time getting lotion back there. You can put your sunless tanner or your lotion, you put this behind your back, and then you go like this and work it into your back. Now, I was pretty skeptical that I was gonna get an even sunless tan back there, but it totally worked. So, if you have that issue of trying to get a sunless tan back there or you have issues with applying lotion to your back, check into the body buddy. 
For this final category, I know some of you have told me you can't do sunless tanner because of various reasons. Either you're allergic to the DHA, which is in almost all sunless tanners, or if you have age spots, you know that sunless tanners can kind of enhance and bring those age spots out. I personally am starting to get a few of those and I completely understand. So these products I was excited to try out and kind of tell you about because I think some of them might help give you a little bit of glow and healthiness to your skin, but without being concerned about those age spots. Now, another advantage to these products is you can use them in conjunction with your sunless tanner. So personally, I love these as my sunless tanner is starting to fade through the week if I need to put on a pair of shorts or a dress I can quickly throw one of these products on my legs or my arms or whatever and it makes my sunless tan look a little bit fresher so the first product I'm going to show you actually doesn't have any color in it but it is one that makes your sunless tan look beautiful and this is again by body bath and body works and it is limited edition another product that if you can find this go get it now. It has the same scent, but stronger than the coconut milk moisturizer. And I'm going to show you a little bit of this, um, on my skin. Now I don't use this in place of moisturizer, but I use it just to add a beautiful bit of glow to the skin. And it's slightly um, kind of oil based. I don't know if you can see that there. I'll show you a little bit closer on the hand. It does have tiny little flecks of glitter in it, but they're tiny. So you don't look like a disco ball. You just look like you have very healthy skin. So you don't have to have a tan to use this, but it is going to make whatever tan you have look absolutely beautiful. And you're gonna smell like a pina colada. This next product is from the drugstore and it is from Walmart. It's hard candy. And this is their body luminizer. And this is just a smaller size. I think it comes in a larger size. I got this in one of the Walmart beauty boxes and I was so excited to try it. And this is actually a great product. So I was pleasantly surprised this does not really have much of a scent at all, which is good if you don't want anything to overpower, but this actually has a lot of color and it has a golden glow. Now this does not have physical, visible glitter particles, but you can use this even without a suntan, work it into your skin and it is going to make your skin just look slightly bronzed and glowing. And obviously any of these products you put over a sunless tanner, it's just going to enhance the beauty of them. But this I have used and I felt like once it dried on the skin, I didn't feel like it transferred too much onto my clothes. You are going to need to be careful. I would recommend not using this if you're wearing white or something that needs to be dry cleaned. But um, it did dry down fairly well and I didn't feel like it remained sticky or anything on the skin, but it did just give the skin a nice healthy glow and it's at the drugstore, super inexpensive. Now, as we move into the higher end instant bronzing products, I wanted to start off with the dud because I don't want to end this video on a sour note. So the dud of the bunch, and there are others that are fair that I don't love, and I'm not going to talk about those, but this one is just, it, it's just not, not good for me anyway. This did not work well. And this is by Loving Tan. It's Bronze Shimmer Luminous Cream. And so this was a brand I've heard all over YouTube and I've heard just glowing reviews. So when I saw that Ulta was carrying this brand and they had this instant color, I got the Ultra Dark because as I explained earlier, there are times when I just need instant bronze. Either my sunless tanner has really faded or the weather has suddenly gotten warm and I need to put on a pair of shorts 
and my legs are as white as a sheet. So I add this product and maybe part of it is because of the depth of color. So I got the ultra dark and it has a lot of color for sure. Um, but this product versus the hard candy, this one has so much glow and shimmer and gold in it that when I stepped outside, I mean, it just looks like I have a layer of just shimmer on the skin and the skin doesn't look moisturized. It kind of just looks odd. And also this is not supposed to transfer and it transfers all over the place. So it just was not a good solution for me. Now, I know some of you are saying, I don't want shimmer on my body, so don't worry, I've got you covered. These next two products are among my top favorites for this category because of that reason. I understand not everybody wants to go around glowing like a disco ball. So this first product is by Tanceuticals. And last year when I used this, I thought, mm, it's okay, but I actually have come to really appreciate this, especially if you just need a little subtle hint of some color. This is their wash off bronzer. It has zero shimmer whatsoever. I'll put it on this hand. It doesn't have any shimmer currently on it. I keep washing this hand off. And the color on this though is beautiful. It is a really nice kind of a little more on the cool tone, but not too cool. And it really does give you a good amount of color. Let's see if I can work this in a little bit more. And this sets beautifully. It does not remain sticky. It has that subtle coconut scent that the other products have, but it has no shimmer. And I have worn this with white pants and I did get a little bit of transfer around the edge of my pants, but it was not bad at all. And I didn't go around feeling like I shouldn't touch anybody's furniture. <laughs> have you ever had a product like that? This one doesn't make you feel that way. And it does though still give you enough color that you can kind of put on a pair of shorts and feel comfortable to go out. So there you go. There it is all blended in again, no shimmer. And if you don't have any sunless tanner on, you can see that color a little more. And that's how I really discovered that I really liked this product. I was using it when I didn't really have any sunless tanner on and just use a little bit of it just to help kind of blend what was going on in my face, my neck and decollete area. And I thought, Oh, I really like this. So, Another great product for the body, instant bronze. It does wash off with soap and water easily in the shower. This last product I'm gonna share with you is the newest of the whole bunch. I just picked it up in the most recent Sephora VIB sale and it is by Tarte. It is called Better Bod. And off and on, I had read some reviews about this product and I, caught, I thought, I need to try that product. I need to try it. And I think Tarte had a different type of, a different product that was very similar in years past. But anyway, this says bronze and contour. And this is what intrigued me is it says it is a waterproof matte instant bronzer and it is just for one day. So when Sephora had their sale, I snatched this up and I have only used this, I think twice since I purchased it, but oh my goodness, I was super impressed. So there's a pretty, this is a pretty decent size and it came in a kit with its own applicator. It's dual sided. The side is dirty because I didn't wash it until the next day. Shame on me, but it's a super soft applicator and it did again, really help with the application, but you can see this product and it's almost a little more. So this has kind of more of a gel consistency and this is kind of in between a gel and a lotion. It, smooth onto the skin beautifully. And it does have just a little hint of some coolness to it. 
So again, I think this product is best on its own. You don't need, this is not something you're gonna wanna put over the top of your freshly tanned body. So this is for those of you who do not want to use a sunless tanner, you don't get out in the sun, but you want some color and you're going to the beach. Yes, you can use this if you're going swimming, going to the beach. How many of us have been shocked by that realization, oh no, I have to put on a swimming suit and I am white as can be, or maybe you've put sunless tanner about halfway up your legs and not the rest of the way. So this is a product that you can put on and once it dries, it is waterproof. So I used this um, last week and it was at the end of my sunless tanning week. I was trying to kind of let my previous sunless tan really exfoliate and fade completely but I needed to wear sleeveless shirt and capris and I thought okay we're gonna put this to the test so I applied this and once it was dry dressed for the day went about my day and I did purposely wear a white shirt now again I did have a tiny little bit of some transfer right at the edge where your arm is gonna kinda rub. But other than that, that was it, and you didn't see any change in the color from this. Now, I went to the gym, worked out, it did not fade off. I got in the shower, and before sudsing up, I thoroughly rinsed off, and I really rubbed my skin, and none of the color came off. I was so shocked. So then I sudsed up with my body poof and up and washed up like normal and I still had some color left on me. So it is an amazing product that does dry down completely. It doesn't remain sticky and it is completely waterproof. There's no shimmer whatsoever in it and I did not feel like it made any of my age spots stand out. It almost camouflaged some of the imperfections in my skin. So if you are somebody who says I can't do sunless tanner at all, I would definitely highly recommend checking out this Tarte one, Better Bod, or the Tanceuticals Instant Bronzer. All right, guys, so that wraps up my top picks for getting that wonderful summer bronze, but just back from Vacation Glow without having to spend hours in the sun or in tanning salons. If you've been frustrated trying to find those perfect products, hopefully I gave you some new options to look into. Thank you as always so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye.